Hi, I'm Jess Rice. Today, I'm doing a little plein air painting in our backyard. I'm gonna do a quick little sketch here. I'm gonna do a value sketch first. Um, I've set up a little uh, spot here looking at this great little teapot sitting in this uh, kind of decaying stump here. Thought that'd make a really interesting painting. It's got some great values on it. It's got lights, it's got mid-tones, and it's got some nice darks in it. So, let's start with a quick little value sketch. My watercolor paper I'm gonna put on, this on is nine by 12. So I'm gonna do a tall sketch this time. Find my golden sections by splitting my paper into thirds. Where those cross, those are my golden sections. That's where I kinda of wanna put my objects or place, place my focal points. This is just a value sketch, so I don't have to be real accurate with my drawing. I just kind of want to put in just a few details to kind of get, get me going. Putting my teapot right on kind of this golden section right here. A little bit low. Let's just move that up just a hair bit. So the spout comes out on it. Just a quick little drawing. Got a flat top. The handle comes right off the top. Need eraser, lifts the pencil lines out real easily. I can always change my frame of reference a little if I need to just move it over just a slight bit. It's a little bit better. Now it's sitting in a big stump here. The stump kind of comes up and around, it comes above it a little bit, down to it, and then it kind of comes up the back around a little bit and then it's got a stump kind of in the front of it here again. I'm just going to put a few of these foxglove leaves in as well. Make those kind of come off this corner. Just kind of those big leaves. It kind of sets us in the garden. It kind of tells us where we're at. This one actually comes up and over the teapot as well. So that's kind of cool. I'm going to bring that up. It makes that teapot sit in there a little bit. Now on this side, I got everything a bit here. I just need just a little bit more of this stump coming off this side. All right, now I'm just gonna do a three, a real simple three-step value scale. Split that into thirds. I want some nice darks, some mid-tones, and some lights. So I kind of want to pick those all out of my uh, little sketch here. I'm going to start with my real darks. This opening is real dark into the teapot. There's a dark right here on the spout, that little opening. The handle has a little bit of nice dark on it right there. And then the dark is really underneath of it, holding that teapot kind of in and cutting these foxglove out. So I can use that dark color to really cut these leaves out. Nice darks. Mid-tones, I'm going to do the whole teapot of mid-tone. And I'm going to do the stump of mid-tone. I'll change the color up of that. They're, they're a very similar value. Need eraser? I just want to put a few highlights on my teapot. That reflection coming across over the sky. It's a nice light. There's some lights down in here across my rim. Now I'll take um, reference photos as well. I'll take some close-ups as well so I can really have something to uh, follow back at the studio. This is just to kind of give me a, a little bit of a roadmap to work with. Like that, the stump comes up and over. Uh, my veins and my fox, or in my fox glove. A little bit of dark in this corner. I've got three light corners, one nice dark corner. Let's keep that nice and dark. Actually, let's make these three, these two dark as well. Just looking at that, my stump and kind of beyond it, it's real dark right behind it. I want to go really dark back here. And I can go right up against my teapot, 
cut it out nicely, reshape it. That's how I like to use my darks in my watercolor as well. Cutting around things, going nice and dark behind things. Just kind of adds to that setting a little bit more. I'm gonna leave this corner nice and light. The rest of them are fairly dark. I can come in here and put the tops on, on that stump where it's kind of broken off there. there. I've just done a really quick value sketch, but I've got a great little road map to follow back in the studio. So I'll take my value sketch and from this and the reference photos, I'll do a line drawing and then I'll transfer that to my watercolor paper. So I'm happy with this. I've got a cute little setting. It's been great sitting out here in the garden. We'll see what we can come up with. Thanks for joining in and happy painting.